What's new in the Linux kernel 6.2 RC1? Glad you asked. A considerable amount of power management code arrives in the Linux kernel. Across CPU architectures such as Intel All Alder Lake N, Raptor Lake P models, and change the energy performance bias EPB value for, from 6 to 7, which reduces power consumption. In addition to Apple's M1, M2, bring CPU frequency scaling for the P state to control the power consumption in Apple, Apple Silicon. Plus, a bunch of code was dropped for the MSI subsystem for the kernel. The revamp of MSI in discussion for some time for implementation due to its initial design issue. AMD's N4 processors are now supported by, by kernel 2, 6.2. Oh, jeez. Here we go again, tongue-tied. With various opening with various opening up of performance modules. Essential items that get support for this processor are core performance monitor counters, L3 cache performance monitor counters, multiple event metrics around dispatch branch prediction, L1 slash L2 cache activity, and many more. Also, AMD's P-State driver code was added to the kernel. More RISC-V architecture support arrives in this kernel release, bringing persistent memory device support, T-head PMU support, and additional changes. For uh, models such as Qualcomm and Snapdragon, 460, 650, 652, A21, 662, and 695. 690, Apple's M1 Pro, Max, Ultra SoCs, a bunch of rock chip boards, and many more. Oh, and that's not all, people. GPU enhancements. <clears throat> Excuse me. The graphics stack also gets significant updates. Uh, firstly, ARC's graphics DG2 Alchemist card supports support becomes stable and removed as experimental. Also arriving, the Intel the initial NVIDIA RTX 30 Amper accelerated support, more Intel Meteor Lake code base, and AMD is also patched for more code for the RDNA 3 cards. Oh, and Santa brought some more stuff along the way inside the 6.2 kernel. And his little helper Linus along with it, of course. <laughs> A vast number of file system change arrive in this release. The, the significant update includes the NTFS driver adding new mount options. XFAT gets better performance while creating files, such direct, files and directories, better caching for F2FS performance, and fixes for the butter FS file system. The USB 4 updates continue to arrive. 6.2 is bringing awake on connect and disconnect via USB 4 ports. In addition, the USB 2.0 dongle to VGA adapter, sys USB VGA driver support is dropped in this release, being outdated hardware. Well, that came out on Christmas, or right, above, right before Christmas, so... Merry Christmas, Linux community. <laughs> That's a lot of boost inside the kernel. More gaming, better performance, and wider adaptivity for uh, different architectures and file systems. Well, I'm out of here. Y'all have fun, stay safe, and Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Oh, not to mention, Happy Hanukkah. Can't forget our, our uh, Judeo friends. Have a good, have a good one, people. Hasta mañana. <laughs>